No, I'm so small. Like, I'm not gonna be able to spot you. No! <laughs> guys, it's Charlotte and today's video is going to be about boys at the gym. And before I start telling a couple stories of experiences I've had with guys at the gym, I just want to say I don't mean this at all to scare away anyone from wanting to go to a gym. These are just a couple isolated incidents that I had when I went to a gym. And I no longer work out at a gym, I work out 100% from home, but I used to go to a gym and these are a couple stories. So when people are going to the gym, like I know when I'm going to the gym, I'm not going to pick up guys. I'm going to work out and get my workout in because that's why I'm paying $45 a month. <laughs> so one time I was at the gym and this is when I went to the YMCA, no shade at the YMCA. I love the YMCA, I loved it when I went there. But it wasn't just a woman's one, it was a unisex, so there definitely was guys there. And I usually hung out in the weightlifting section since that's when I was doing a lot of weightlifting. So one day I was just doing my workout, you know, trying to get my deadlifts in. And I always have my earbuds in and my music's like blasting super loud. And I see some guys like motioning to try to talk to me. He was like in front of me, like, so I was doing my deadlifts and then in front of me there was like an inclined bench press, you know? So the guy was like doing his inclined bench press or whatever. And then he like waves at me for me to take out my headphones. So like I start talking to him and I'm the kind of person who's like really, really nice to people because I don't want to like start any drama. I don't want to like at all be rude to people or seem rude. So I'm always like really nice and friendly to everyone. So I was like, oh yeah, like what is your question? I thought maybe he needed help. But this guy started talking to me and like, while I'm in the middle, like I was doing my rest in between my set and this guy just like kept talking to me for a while asking me like where I'm from, what I'm doing, what I'm doing as my job. And I'm like talking to him and this guy tells me how he's like 44 or 45, I believe he said he was. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm 17. Like, you're like 44. And he's like, oh, sorry, I, uh, you look a lot older. I'm like, I'm slim, I look really young already. Now even when I'm 19, people are always asking to ID me because I look younger than I am. And this guy, he's like chatting me up and like hitting on me in the middle of when I'm like trying to do my sets and I'm like trying to be nice, you know, I'm like, I don't want to be rude or start any drama. So I'm like being nice and trying to like answer his questions he has or whatever. But I'm like thinking, I'm like, this guy is like 44 and I'm just trying to do my deadlifts. Leave me alone. <laughs> Like sometimes when I go to the gym, I, I would always wear shorts because the gym always gets very, very hot, you know, because there's so many people and it was a smaller space. So I was wearing shorts, but I don't think that gives me, especially when I was underage, like an invitation for like 45 year old men to come like hit on me and like asking me and what he, and he said something like, oh, and he's like, oh, are you an athlete or a cheerleader or something? And I'm like, no, I'm just working out because I want to be healthy and fit and stuff. And he's like hitting on me and I'm like, what's going on, you know? But I'm like not really confrontational. So I was just trying to be nice. But anyways, finally he stopped talking and I finally could like put my headphones back in and try to zone out and like get back into my workout. And then my workout was all messed up because I... He talked to me so long, so my sets were all messed up and my rest times were all messed up. But anyways, so I just got back to my workout and I saw while I was exercising, there's this other guy that was always in the gym at the same time. And he was like a really, really big buff guy. Like he honestly was so tall. Like he's probably like seven feet and he was super buff, but he was like always super nice, super respectful, really cool guy at the gym. I'm like, wow, all the guys must look up to him because he's super fit or whatever. And this guy... He's like, so he's a huge guy. And this guy that was talking to me, this 44 year old guy, he was just kind of like a regular dad or something, you know? And so anyways, this big buff guy goes up to him and I couldn't hear what he was saying because I had my headphones in and I had the music up, but he, I could see that he was telling him off and telling him like, don't talk to her when she's trying to do her workout and stuff. Like I could, like, I didn't hear what he was saying, but I knew it was something like that. And I was like, oh, 
<laughs> so yes, there's some bad guys out there that are out to get you, but also some really nice guys who are there to help. So I really, if this guy doesn't know who I, the buff guy doesn't know who I am, but if he ever watches this video, thanks so much for standing up for me and telling him to leave me alone. Because, you know, when I'm trying to do my workout, I'm not there to get hit on, especially when I'm underage and I look clearly very young and you're a 45 year old man. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> so that is my first story in this sequence of crazy guys at the gym. And my next one is going to be about a younger guy that when I was in high school and went to my high school's gym. So like all throughout high school, what I'd always do is at lunch, work out in my school's gym to get my workout because then you kind of make a schedule of it. Then you're kind of like forced to do it at lunch and it's done for the day. So I'd always work out at lunch. So I was more like a senior, like I was one of the older kids in the school. And there was a, ki a younger guy there that I always saw him go to the gym like since the last year because I think he was then going into grade 10. So grade nine, the last year I saw him and then he's in grade 10. And I came up to him one day and like I saw he had put on like a lot of muscle or whatever and he didn't at all like come to hit on him or whatever. I just said to him, I was like, man, I'm like, you've done a really good job. I'm like, I've totally noticed a difference in your muscle mass and everything. I'm like, you've really like put on a lot of muscle weight. I'm like, you're doing really awesome. Just want to say like, good job, you know? Like I wanted to give him a pat on the back and say like, great job because I always saw him in the gym and we were always working out in the same area. So I thought it would be nice to congratulate him and like acknowledge his progress because not everyone always acknowledges that kind of thing so I thought I'd let him know so anyways he seemed um pretty respectful and like really nice and excited that I said that to him I'm like yeah whatever so we went about our thing and I think it was honestly like the next day or like the day after and I was doing my bench press not inclined bench press or anything just regular bench press all my stories always have to do with someone bench pressing but anyways I was yeah doing my bench press and so I wasn't even like looking at anyone else in the gym because you know you're laying down when you're doing your bench press. And he comes up to me like in the middle, not even in, during my um, rest time, but in the middle of my set when I'm working out and he like hovers over me and like taps me on that shoulder or hand or whatever. And I'm like, again, have my music in. So I got to take it out. And I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, oh, hey, like what's up? You know, like, do you need, do you need help with anything? Or like, what's going on, you know? And he says to me, he was like, you really should put your hands farther apart on the bar instead of so close together. And I was like, oh, oh. So you came to interrupt me in my set to tell me that I'm not allowed to have my hands close together. I have to have them like farther apart. Like, is it really that big of a deal that I have my hands closer together rather than farther apart that you need to stop me in the middle of my set, not even during a rest, but in the middle of my set to say that. And he said it, it might seem like I'm overreacting, but honestly, he said it in such a rude way, like trying to be like, um, you're doing it wrong. I was like, come on. Like, it doesn't even matter that much where you have your hands. Maybe because I'm a woman, my arms aren't as long or something. So I don't like having them farther apart. I like having them closer together. And for him to just like, come say that to me like in the middle of my set and he said it in such a rude way and I'm like I just like totally said you did awesome the other day and now I guess maybe he thought he was like above me or that I was like bowing down to him or something thinking that like I need all of this advice from him but I don't know I didn't like it I feel like he took the opportunity to power trip and I don't know I don't know it was just annoying so that is another funny story of a guy at the gym <laughs> But anyways, I don't know, maybe he had good intentions behind it, but I just thought the way he said it, you know, the tone of his voice and the way he went about it was just kind of rude, so. Okay, and the third and last story that I can remember from guys at the gym. So I'm not a very big girl, and this guy comes up to me, and he's like, can you help me out? I really need your help. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take my headphones out. What, what do you need me to do? Can you come over here? and help me and I'm like yeah sure I'm like what do you need I'm like super nice right and he's like I need someone to spot me because I'm trying to break my record from how heavy that I can bench lift and I'm thinking you're a guy you're like in your mid late 20s I'm a young 17 year old girl I am 5'3 I weigh 110 pounds do you really think that if you're trying to max out your bench press 
that I'm gonna be able to like just casually help it off you? Dude, no, I'm so small. Like I'm not gonna be able to spot you. No. <laughs> But being the nice person I am, and I think it was his way of kind of showing off and hitting on me or whatever, I'm like, sure, I can spot you. And he's like so loud about wanting to like beat his bench press record. And he's like, yeah, spot me or whatever. And he's like doing it. So I go behind to like spot him. And he's like doing his string, trying to beat his max and trying to like do it a certain amount of times. I think, I don't remember for sure. I think he was like having me count how many he could do. And I'm like, Come on. But anyway, so I like count and he does his maximum or whatever. And he was like, oh, I couldn't do as many as I thought I could. And I think he did like, I think he did like four or something. And so being the smart aleck that I sometimes am, I was like, oh, I was like, oh yeah. I'm like, that's okay. I'm like, but I can do five. <laughs> like I said it, like I can do like one more than him or something, but I said it in a really jokative way and he laughed or whatever, but it was just guys like that. It's funny that they're hitting on me and I take it as a flattering thing, you know, but I'm like, seriously, like I'm trying to do my workout and then so many of the times then it gets in the way of my workout and at least that guy was more funny and respectful about it, but so many times, so many guys are just, oh, at the gym when you're trying to do your workout and just zone out and chill. So that's definitely one thing that I like more about working out from home. But those were my three funny stories today about guys at the gym. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked my story time. Comment below if you guys have any funny stories about guys at the gym or just any situations that you've had at the gym. Or maybe guys, if you've had girls like come at you at the gym or something, <laughs> comment that below too. I'd love to hear your funny stories. But yeah, I don't want this to scare anyone away from the gym. It's awesome to go to the gym. I personally like working out from home, but going to the gym is fine do these are just a few isolated incidents of a lot of the times that I went so yeah don't let that scare you away otherwise thank you so much for watching my video today guys I really hope you liked it and got a laugh out of it please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video I do two plus videos a week so I'm really active on my channel and I'm so excited for you guys to get to know me okay guys thanks so much see you next video